Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Everspace. Let's uh, let's do it. I don't have a lot to say, I don't have a lot of intro here. Let's just get out there and try, try not to crash into any large stationary rocks. Ready to do things differently? Better, perhaps. Wow, oh hey. Okay, I guess we're starting. I hate it when they go down. Okay. I don't know how the uh, the physics of that work exactly, but I probably should not be driving through explosions in the middle of space. All right, I don't know what's going on over here, but let's take advantage of the chaos. All right, these guys are a little bit harder to hit than I would like. I have no problem using up all of my uh, all of my missiles right away, because it looks like uh, at the rate we're going, you know, it would have to be one hell party. of a game. Uh, it has to be against you. okay, guys. It have to be one hell of a game for us to survive enough encounters to eat through all of the missiles. Okay, it's mostly fuel uh, the, that we loot from them, which is unfortunate because we really don't need any fuel. There's a lot of fuel over here. Is this maybe the result of what they, uh, whatever it was they were shooting at? Or, oh no, there's a big wreck here. Okay, well let's see if there's anything besides fuel. There might be, uh, some shipping containers or some tech or something. Oh, yeah, here's something, here's something. I picked up a decal color. That's cool. And plasma torpedoes, huh? You remember that thing I was saying about not being able to use up all of our weapons? This will definitely make us able to use up all of our secondary weapons. They do a ton of damage, like really a ton of damage, jeez. I'm just gonna salvage them. My aim is kind of sketchy, and I think having access to a lot of Weak missiles is actually better than having access to a small number of strong missiles for us. Okay, so everything we've left behind is fuel. Man, there's a lot of fuel. Alright, well I guess let's go mining until the Akar catch up with us. In a... In a metagame sense, this feels a lot like FTL. Or not a metagame sense, but uh, you know what I mean. The sort of a strategic level sense. Trying to burn time in the in various parts of the galaxy until the enemies show up behind you. Oh, hey. Well, look at that. So I'm really hoping to find some good weapons quickly. They wouldn't hurt if they, you know, homed in on enemies. I was afraid to hit these things too hard. Can you shoot them open? I'm gonna try shooting them open. What did I get out of that? I don't even know. Okay, yes, you can in fact just shoot them. I'm pretty sure that I tried that during the uh, tutorial and it didn't work, but it is extremely possible that I missed the stationary container. I think there's, there's pretty good odds, actually. Alright, let's look around. That doesn't look like a naturally occurring shape. Yeah, let's go see what that's a, what that is there. What do we got? Yeah, I can take some. I can take a drone and a fighter. I actually would rather hit the drone. Actually, the drone's not coming in for us, it looks like. Okay. There we go. Eleven compound? What is it, my birthday? Alright, uh, I've got myself all turned around. It turns out that three-dimensional high-speed combat is extremely disorienting. Okay, here we go. Let's see what's up over here. I see tanks. And they're glowy. 
Does that just mean I can shoot them to make an effect happen? And most of the time when stuff glows like that, it's loot. Alright, well this is not explicitly marked as a gravy and belter or whatever facility. I'm gonna shoot these. That doesn't seem to be doing anything at all. Oh, there we go. Oops, I hit R. I was like, I was just firing a gun. I'll hit R to reload, right? It's a bad influence of prey. That gas is like all the way on the other side of the uh, rock already. Okay, so we looted some gas from a facility that hopefully is empty and does not need the gas anymore. Wait, did it like float into the rock? Because it, yeah, it appears to have gone inside of the, the rock face. Well, alright. Still free crafting materials. At this point, I'm just kind of looking around for anything, anything of value to grab before we get hurried out of the system, because it can't be too long now. We're already at 925 uh, credits, too. A little bit of combat's good for us. Okay, leaving safe for me. You know what, let's just... Let's just jump. Yeah, good timing. Alright, so... In these games, in pretty much every game of this type, it is really, really, really to your benefit to get as much time in each uh, node or each area as possible, right? You wanna... You want to really clear things out before the game rushes you along. In fact, the only reason the game has to rush you along is that the strategy of sticking around and clearing everything out is so good. Alright, I picked the high-risk node over the low-risk node this time because we're still early in. And I think that combat is probably good for us economically at this point. Ooh, wow. I caused that guy to drive into an asteroid. Maybe I damaged his inertia damage. Alright, let's grab these, and then, uh, oh, he's behind me. Now who's behind who, smart guy? Oh man, am I going to be able to kill him without using a missile? I should probably switch to my, uh, my Gatling gun. But we got there, and actually, that was, like, pretty lucrative. Alright, mineable ore. Ooh. Pulse laser plus. That's just free good stuff. And we'll probably just break these down. I don't really want to use these. Okay, so swap. Break that down. And now let's go to the let's go to the build menu. So we have some I guess the blueprints we only hold for one uh Oh no, here we go. We can see all the blueprints. Currently craftable just this stuff. This would require... Wow. It's actually really hard to build a flat cannon. Reduces incoming damage for a short amount of time. This is a consumable. It's just gas ore and scrap? This actually sounds pretty useful. Uh, how do I... Huh. And clicking on it doesn't seem to do anything. How do I... Oh, right here, just like build new... Yeah, okay. Let's build a couple of these, actually. Uh, how do I... What button does that... Put that on? Okay, I can press forward to toggle between my consumables. Okay. Ooh, what is all this now? That's interesting, right? Somebody built like a... What do you call it? It's all solar panels and... I was going to say Dyson Sphere. Is that the thing I mean? Actually, I should probably not be too distracted. Those red arrows are getting bigger. Yeah, that guy's close enough to see me. Oops, I have switched the galley gun. There we go. Okay, one down. Yeah, they seem to be zooming past me a lot. Okay, let's be smart and actually switch to the Gatling gun. Uh, it actually is not, uh... 
It's not that much faster. It doesn't seem like. Okay, that guy dropped four nanobots. That's fantastic. And a scatter gun. Let's have a look at this. What is your deal? Several low range projectiles simultaneously. Yeah, it's a shotgun. Uh. You know what? Let's take it over the Gatling gun because I'm curious. Let's see if this thing is useful. Worst case scenario, the scatter gun turns out to be really bad, and I just use my pulse laser for everything, which is often what I end up doing anyway. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab this, too. Alright, well, I feel like things are going so much better this run already. Alright, now we're finally going to check the station out. Ooh, wow, the light of the nearby star reflecting off of the paneling is horrible. Yeah, man, I am never going to, uh, never going to undervalue that immediate stopping power again. Uh, it looks like, I was kind of wondering if there might be a way to get into it and find something cool in there, but it looks like no. Ooh, there is a tech container. Look, I'm learning. Okay, drone overrides. Uh, do I want to take these over my shield booster? Probably not. I'm just going to salvage them. Oops. I... I hit R. I was like, I'll just point at it and hit R as though that is how salvage works. Alright. Let's do a little bit more fighting. My weapon overdrive is ticking. May as well see if we can make some use of it. Nope, we're not going to get in range in time. Oh, look at this. Look at the jukes. I kind of ran into him a little bit. Um, you know? That's a strategy, right? Okay. Yeah, crack the windshield a little bit. Just a little bit. I guess there's not really a windshield in space. Whew, well, here's another big wreck. I gotta remember which buttons do which things and stop pressing R all the time. What do we got? What is that? Why is there ticking? That's why. I figured it out, guys. Okay. Ow. Okay, the Alcari inbound. Let's grab our compound and get the hell out of here. Some oh crap! Just jumped in. I recommend yep, I see that. Moves. He's saying I should run from a fight. It's all the same to me. Damage limiter. Come on, come on, come on, come on. So it looks like when I take damage, I lose progress on my uh, my jump. I'm evading, I'm evading, look at all the evading. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Ooh. Uh, we took a lot of damage there, like a lot of damage. Yeah, I need a nice low risk node to cool down off of that, Jesus. Oh, okay. The engine's busted. Okay, GNBs. There's some scouts. That is a comms hub. Alright, I think we're on our own as far as fixing the engine. Fixing the engine would require some power cells. So it would require three nanobots? It would require two nanobots. So we can spend up to two nanobots on ship repairs. So let's do that. Let's get a little bit of hull. We gotta find power cells somewhere. Well, I bet a comms hub needs power cells to work. We're gonna have to do a little bit of uh, a little bit of tussling to get there. I'm trying to get away from these guys. I really, really don't need their nonsense too. 
I guess those don't to see us. May as well open up. Oof. I fired a torpedo at him and it exploded immediately. He uh, must have shot it. That's something I wasn't really thinking about, but yeah, it's probably not a great idea to fire a torpedo directly into oncoming ammo. We've got company. Yeah, don't I know it? Okay. Really use those power cells. Uh, let's see what's up with this place. I'm getting those, uh, getting those pings again. All right, so it's covered in turrets. Is part of what's up with this place. Oh man, uh, I don't have all of my normal maneuverability because of the engine. Okay, let's uh, let's just do this the fast way. All right, I don't love using torpedoes that way, but uh, I think it was necessary. There's another turret right over here. This might be a good scatter shot range, actually. Processors and scrap, that's cool. So let's uh blow this up and see what's in there. Interesting. Huh. Oh, you hack them. You just get close and hack them. Okay. I'm not sure what that did. You've probably ascertained. Hacking com hubs has its benefits. Okay, that was maybe not that smart. Managed to get an awful lot of fuel back. Unfortunately, none of the things that I need to repair my engine. Let's burn hard for this. I don't know how much time we have left in this uh, this node, but it's probably not too much. I think I think we're getting away from the turrets, or we're getting into some trouble. That's possible. Ooh, nanobots. Yes, nanobots. That is exactly how I feel about it. Okay. So far my plan has been when they are approaching, just hit the brakes. And let them catch up. Uh, I don't know if that's a real strategy as far as, uh, as far as flying a fighter goes, but it seems to be working. It may be that, like, later enemies will be smarter and will not, uh, will not just, will not just pass me. Because all they'd have to do is slow down for that to not work, right? Plasma mines. Uh, let's... Yeah, I don't know that I want to use mines. Let's just salvage them. Plasma and scrap. Seriously, how does one get a hold of a power cell? A sensor drone. What are you? Increases the ship's sensor range by 200% of its base value. I... That's not horrible. I can see some immediate use for that. Let's, uh, let's grab one of those. Burn the damage limiter. There's a container over there. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this, though. Alright, let's go for, uh, let's go for these containers. The sector has been, like, pretty loot-heavy. Or this, uh, this node, rather. I want to say sector a lot. Okay. Am I going to make it in time? No, let's not chance it. 
I do not think that would be wise. Okay. So when we get into the next node, we'll just pop that uh, sensor thing immediately. And it'll help us figure out where the loot is, I think. Actually, I should repair the ship, too. A trader? Okay. Let's go, let's go hit the trader before we do anything else. I could really use some power cells. He does not have any of those. He does have damage boosters and an energy injector. Oh, I know what this is. Can I sell him stuff? He'll trade me a shield breaker for gas. Okay, so no, I don't. He just, he gives me the price he wants to give me. Man, I don't really want any of this stuff, I don't think. We have, we have quite a bit of ore. I could maybe use gas. No, I don't want any of this stuff. All right, so let's, let's take our repairs real quick. Go ahead and go to full. Leaves us with the two nanobots that we need. That sound is the sound of us being repaired by ourselves. They're shooting at something out there. I was going to use this. Oh, that's our drone. Okay. So it looks like what we have uncovered is that there's some mineable ore over here. And that there's enemies. That looks like about it, actually. Alright. Well, remarkably, having your weapons be damaged doesn't seem to be all that big of a deal. It hasn't been nearly as immediately crippling as some of the other things we've experienced. Alright, if we can crack this guy's shields off... Sure, I can kill him with a torpedo from this range. Oh, all of our, all of my energy, all of my energy. Ah, I'll fire two missiles. Whatever, it's fine. All right, we'll use the uh, try to use the asteroids here to get a little bit of cover. It looks like they may not have needed our help. Ooh. I got him real solid with the scatter gun there, though. That was satisfying. I have always liked, like, charge-up weapons in, uh, in shooter games. Because it feels really satisfying to, like, line up the shot and, uh, and get it just right. Yeah, you know what? Screw this random guy. Let's go get a tech container. Actually, that looks like it's close. Ooh, our car. It's shooting at my sensor drone. What do you have against sensor drones? Also, man, I am not... These are not hitting. I'm trying to aim where the predictive circle is, but he's just turning too much. Eh. Yeah, unfortunately, the, uh, the prediction circle... Oh, he's coming for us. No, he made noises at us, but he's actually not approaching. All right, well, we've seen this trap already. Unfortunately, we are, in fact, being shot from behind now. Uh, pop the shield booster. Okay. Drone's down. Unfortunately, that is not our only problem. Actually, we have a lot of problems, it looks like. Oh, actually, it's a lot of fighters. Uh, maybe we should abort. Like, abort, abort. Okay, one more shield booster. I'm gonna try to get to these living vessels. Hopefully these guys can help us. Just kind of weaving back and forth. I don't really have any other evasive options, and our, sh our ship is remarkably slow. On account of all of the, uh, you know, damaged engines. I 
All right, all right, game. Don't be pr too proud of yourself with your space references. I see what you're saying, but... I mean, we made a ton of money, and we got a decal color. How exciting is that? Think of how slightly different our ship is going to look. Uh, yeah, decal color. Let's... how we... Oh, look at that. I like the orange, though. And the orange looks kind of not great with this color. Well, whatever. I don't have to look at it. Uh, I don't... What did I... I think I had it like this before. I like this better. Okay. Uh... What does it cost to buy up... We could just buy up the next level of Sector Scanner. I'm really curious to see what Sector Scanner becomes when it's upgraded further. But actually, what we probably should buy is lower percentage chance to have our components damaged, because that really was, like, backbreaking there. And I'm going to commit really hard to this, uh, this credit loop thing. Okay, we have a little bit of money left over. 700, actually. It's not even that little. Uh, let's try to finish the things that we've already put money into. And then, I guess... Service stations offer two services. That's... I guess that's fine. Yeah, sure. Alright. I think we could probably, uh... Well, you know what? Let's just call it there for now. So, come back next time, you guys. Thank you for watching. Come back next time. Let's see if we can uh, if we can maybe get something a little bit more exciting done. I feel like I was on the cusp of a really good run there. We made a lot of money, but uh, see if we can get something a little bit more exciting done next time. And we'll see you then.